Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I have a massive 99 cent store haul for you guys. For those of you who are new, first off, let me say welcome. And those of you returning, thank you for always coming back. Um, generally, I do once a month grocery shopping. I like to go into my discount grocery stores first to see if I can save on what I would pay for, you know, full price in, in other stores. A lot of times I can get things, you know, three times cheaper than I can at a regular box store. And then I go and do my other big box store shopping. And for produce and stuff like that, sometimes I have to go once a week and sometimes I have to go every two weeks. It just depends on how fast we're getting through our produce and we go through a lot of produce in our house. So I was super excited when I went in today because produce looked amazing. And of course I found some really good deals. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you guys what I found. Um, okay, I have repurchased these. I did pick up some for Christmas for stocking stuffers. This is the um, Mr. Bubbles Luxe. This smells so fresh and so clean. So I did pick up a set for myself and it was $1.99. I know a lot of you guys are probably tired of seeing yellow stickers, but I said it before. Those days are over, so I'm still getting a deal. It may not be 99 cents anymore, but it's still it's a good enough deal for me to continue shopping there. Also, I wanted to start doing different hairstyles again. I used to love doing my hair so much and my nails all the time. Um, I promised a lot of self-love for myself this year. So I did pick up these beautiful clips and they're metal. They're very sturdy and for $1.99, they're super cute. Um, nice, good product, really good for the price. Um, this is always a repurchase. I do my eyebrows and the girl's eyebrows at home. I do the waxing, I do the trimming, everything. So these are awesome, three for a dollar. So one for each of us. One of the girls, I forgot which one needed it, but they needed another razor. And for a buck, this is a good deal. And they don't care that they're boy razors because it still shaves. So that was another great deal. Um, Hair products. I told you guys in my last haul, that if I find more, I'm gonna keep stocking up on this. This is one of my favorite products I've ever gotten from the 99. It works amazing, it smells good, and you could honestly even use it on your skin. This is the It Natural 12-in-1 Amazing Serum in Argan Oil. Highly, highly recommend this product. So that is a definite repurchase. This is another repurchase as well. Anytime I come across these Maybelline eyebrow pencils, I do pick them up because we all, three of us girls in the house, use them. So I keep these on hand. Um, I don't think there's any, a lot of other repurchases. Well, you'll see as we go. I have a couple of recipes for some Valentine's Day treats that I want to show the girls how to make. And this is the braided marshmallows by De La Rosa. This is my kid's favorite marshmallow. They're strawberry flavored. And guys, these marshmallows are so soft. So anytime I find those, anyways, the kids will snack on them, even if I don't use them all for my recipe. I pick these up because I do make my kids lunches, and sometimes I like to make them cute, even though they're bigger now. Um, you get three cookie cutters for a dollar, and they're in different sizes. Not only do you need these for cookies, you can use them for so many different treats. You can do it with Rice Krispie treats, brownies. You can make um, sandwiches in the shape of this. You can cut your vegetables into the shape of this. There's so many different things you can do with stainless steel cookie cutters, and they're not too flimsy. They're pretty nice. Pick those up, and also for meal prep, for lunches, I always pick up these kind of bags for each season. Um, these are the Happy Valentine's Day zipper bags. And look at these, they got beautiful butterflies on them. My girls love butterflies. Um, they have the ones with hearts. And you get 40 bags in here. And these are the perfect portion control size bags for snacks. And then this one has the conversation hearts on it. Always pick up those during the holidays. They did have their candy half off from Christmas. Um, for those of you who are new, I am diabetic. I'm type one. So I do keep hard candy in my purse in case my sugar spikes down. So I like to have it in there in case my sugar drops. And this is just the Lifesavers. It's a name brand for 50 cents. It's an eight ounce bag. It's cherry, apple, and peppermint. So I did pick up two of those. This was something new for me. I only picked up one to see if we like it. It's by JL Craft, roasted garlic and herb marinade in a bag. It says bag it and grill it. Um, this is what it looks like. So I was even thinking you can do roasted potatoes, roasted vegetables with this. You don't only have to marinate meat. So I picked one of those up to give it a try. If it's good, I'm gonna go back and do it. So these are always a repurchase. I did purchase four of these large cans of the summer inside tomato sauce. Guys, this sauce is so good. I love the fact that it is grown in California. It's BPA free. 
super, super good tomato sauce. Highly recommend it. So four of those. And then they had the Folgers Colombian. My husband loves Colombian coffee, so this is just for him. You guys know I love coffee as well. Um, I don't remember what the price was. I think it was $2.99. It doesn't have the sticker on it, but I know it wasn't 99 cents. I'm thinking $2.99. I'm not sure. But for coffee, that's not a bad deal, especially for a name brand coffee. I did pick up some Heinz honey mustard for sandwiches and wraps. We are going to be doing a lot of those for lunches this time around. Then I found this interesting barbecue sauce. It's F. Whitlock and Sons Sweet Honey Barbecue. And look at the little pig. It looks like a little bee. So cute. Um, I want to look, I need to look on the line to see what company makes this, but it looks really good. And it's good until July 23rd, 2020. And I do, like I said, I have a couple pulled pork recipes I want to try with that. I also picked up three bags of the celery sticks. You get quite a few in here. And snacking and lunches, that's always a must-have in my house. I have a recipe that calls for roasted potatoes. And we love these little miniature potatoes. And they're only a buck for this big bag of them. This is always a repurchase. If you guys have watched me before, you know that I always get the mint bunches. You get three bunches in here, and it's so healthy and beautiful and green. I do make, I love putting this in my hot tea. Also, I make a detox water that I drink every single day, and so do my kids. Even the hubby will drink it, where I take the lemons, the mint, and the cucumbers, and I make a detox water out of that, so that was an awesome buy. This is, oops, I dropped it, darn it. This is also a repurchase. I absolutely love the Humble Roots Living Butter Lettuce. My store wasn't getting it for the longest time, and this makes the best wraps. I love making um, tuna or chicken salad. Wrap it up in here. So good. And it's cool because it's got the roots and everything. As far as produce, I also picked up two bags of these Dino Honey Golden Kiwis. My kids are on a kiwi kick right now, and what do you get? I think this is a pound. So two pounds, and I think these were either $0.99 cents or $1.49. I don't remember. I did need some ranch seasoning packets for a couple recipes and making dip. Um, these are two for a dollar, so I just picked up four of those. Um, I did get this big bag of lemons, and this is sun-kissed, and they're so big, beautiful lemons. I love going in when the produce looks as fresh as it does. I also picked up this big pack of beautiful peppers, but I'm so mad at myself because when I, I actually bagged my groceries and I put one of the cans on it, so I need to cut this guy up and use it right away, but otherwise they're beautiful little peppers and they're really sweet. So perfect for fajitas. I also picked up food-wise a can of the El Pato sauce. I love using this in my taco soup. So I always have that in my pantry on hand, so if anyone's not feeling well and they need soup, I can just go in and make it. Now this I thought was a good deal. It's $2.99. It's Athena's 100% uh, Greek olives, extra virgin olive oil. I am going to be making a couple recipes for salad dressings that need olive oil in it. So I picked that up. I was so excited to come across that. I also needed some cheesecloths because I do make my own enchilada sauce for enchiladas. And I just made tamales and stuff like that. So I like to strain all of the bits and pieces that my blender doesn't get. So this cheesecloth is always great to have on hand for things like that. I've never seen this product before. And I do have stainless steel appliances. Well, my stove isn't, but my refrigerator, my microwave, and my toaster and stuff. And I think a couple other things are stainless steel in my house. And this is the Powerhouse Streak-Free streak Stainless Steel Cleaner and Polish. It says it's compared to Wyman, and Wyman is a really good brand, so pick that up to give a try. I've never seen that one before. Um, this is a repurchase. I need to clean my um, oven, and this is the LA Totally Awesome Grill and Oven Cleaner. This stuff works awesome. Also, if you have pans that are stained on the back, spray this on your pans, let it soak for a little bit, wipe it off, and it comes clean. Highly recommend this product. It's an awesome product. Uh, what else do we got? Over here, <laughs> let me reach. I did get my repurchase. I did a lot of repurchases this time, guys. These are the Calroy tomatoes. We do make fresh pico de gallo in my house. Uh, cucumber and tomato salads. But the cucumbers look so bad today. I didn't pick up cucumbers, so I have to get those at Sam's Club. But we just love tomatoes in this house. So that's always an awesome deal for $1.99. I needed a four-cup measuring cup for a couple of different recipes. It just makes life easier. And I only have the little glass one-cup ones. 
99 cents for that bad boy. Um, food wise, again, they had the Belveda soft filled cocoa creams. I love Velveeta. I will have one of these because I think it comes with two in a pack. Um, I only eat one of them at a time because I have to be careful with my sugar intake. That and a cup of coffee and I'm pretty good to go. So I picked up two of those, you know, for 50 cents. That's a deal in itself. Plus the kids love them too. Um, food wise, Tuesdays, deals days are back. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, these are the kind of deals you will see the day of. This is already passed, but I got a five pack of the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese for $1.99. I did pick up two of these because the expiration date on these were really good. I believe it is June 30th of 2020. My kids love macaroni and cheese for lunch sometimes, and that's just a quick meal alternative. Um, so, okay, let's get into the fun stuff. You guys know I love jewelry, and these are beautiful. They have lions, and look at the animal print inside the heart, and these beautiful flowers for $1.99. Like I told you guys, I'm starting to do a little more self-care, putting myself together a little bit more. Um, I've really let myself go, so it's time to get myself back into gear. For Valentine's Day, I do put baskets together for the kids. I've done it since they were little. Um, but they have these Nuckies phone grip and stand, but they're upside down. But look how cute this guy is. He's got the bubble, but it is a stand and a holder, so it looks like that. So I picked up two of those to put in their baskets. I needed a new wireless charger and I've gotten a different kind before that actually fits in your vent in your car and it works, it still works to this day. So these are $4.99. So I'm going to give this one a try and if it works good, I'm going to buy one for backup. It is by iUse. Um, so it's a vertical and horizontal charging, micro USB included. It's QI compatible. So I'm going to give that a try. Um, Valentine's Day, you guys know I set up my coffee bar for each holiday. Um, I did pick up some straws with the hearts because my theme is mostly red in my kitchen anyways. So I wanted to purchase things that I can kind of keep up year round. So some of these things are going to stay up until the next holiday. These buckets are super cute with the red glitter heart on it. And it's just a little bucket, but I thought, you know, this is perfect to hold my straws in. I love the French Bulldog. I wish they had a bigger one of these. Look at that. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh, it was 99 cents for that. And then I posted this on my Instagram and I wasn't going to pick it up. I'm like, no, no, no. So finally, when I went back to my store, there was only one left on the shelf. So I knew it was destined to be mine. I picked it up. They are $2.99. But this, in my eyes, it's beautiful. It can be kept up year round. There's no reason why you don't want to see the word love in your house. Also, I picked up this little floral arrangement because I just thought it was adorable. Look at the little glitter on the flowers. So this will be a part of my coffee bar. Yes, I have a problem with coffee cups, but look at this, guys. It says, I love coffee in the gold and the red. And look at the little heart in there. These are $1.99, but these are good sized cups, so that's a new addition. I picked up some of the felt heart stickers. Well, not felt, Eva stickers, I think they're calling them. They're like the puffy stickers because I do have a message board that I want to put in the kitchen and I'm going to decorate it with a little bit of you know the hearts for Valentine's Day. Um, this sign. Now, this is another sign that I believe that I can keep up year-round. It has the nice farmhouse look to it. It has the grommets here, the wood, and it says, Love makes our house a home. Amen to that. And I know exactly where this is going in my kitchen. Um, I didn't really get to film a walkthrough of my coffee bar. I mean, for those of you who watched like my 12 Days of Cupsmas, you'll see a little bit of my coffee bar for Christmas, but I am going to be showing you guys what I do for Valentine's Day because it's subtle but still cute. Now this I was super excited for because sometimes these aren't the greatest deals, but look how cute it is. And I did put it together to show you guys. It is this three tier stand with wooden accents and it has the heart. They are $5.99. Generally, I don't go that far high, but when I put it together, I was super stoked and I would totally do it again. So let me show you what it looks like put together. Let me slide this over here without breaking it. Okay, so uh, kind of show you uh, without seeing all my shoes over there. It is three plates and they are the risen plates. I don't know what you call it. They have like texture to them. They're pretty good, decent height as you can see, but I thought this would be super cute. And I also picked this up, the little balloon hugs and kisses sign. 
And I just thought, you know, even if I just sat this here with a couple of other accents, you know, maybe not the roses, but I just thought this would be a cute addition to my coffee bar. Eventually, I would love to get a bigger three-tier stand so that I can display my seasonal stuff a little better. But this is a nice start. I love the heart. And again, I can keep it up year-round. But if you guys see this, this is made really well. It is sturdy. It is not chintzy. Now, some of the ones I've seen at the 99 have been chintzy before. I did pick up a couple more products for hair. You guys know I love trying my products, and I love Garnier products. So this is the Garnier Fructis Color Vibrancy Treat One Minute Hair Mask. And it has goji extract in it. I hope I said that right. $2.99. But guys, look how big this container is. It's like 13 and a half ounces. This isn't one of those little ones. Actually, let's open this up. Let me put it down a little bit for you guys. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. It is full like that. Let's see. Let's... Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So that is one of the things I got for my hair. I also want to change my hair color up a little bit. I usually keep it a super dark black, but this is the Olea by Garnier. I love this brand. It doesn't make your hair smell dyed, but I did get it in the dark natural brown. I just thought that was a really pretty color. Um, my hubby needed more body wash, and this is the brand that he likes. It's the Soft Soap Fresh and Glow Almond and Coconut. My entire family loves how coconut smells. And then for $1.99, I also picked up the L'Oreal Air Dry It Undone Style Cream because I'm trying to be a little more natural with my hair this year. I'm not going to try to strain it as much. So I needed some product for my curls. And then the lonely thing of makeup that I found was this L'Oreal Lift Blur. This is a repurchase. Um, I think it's a medium. But anyways, I love the coverage. It is a full coverage for me, so... I will always repurchase that when I see it. So that is my 99 cent Sura haul, guys. And oh, I do have something that fell on the floor, but I don't feel like getting it. I got some rental wrap uh, sheets to do some foil pack meals. But this is my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like these kind of videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when we upload new videos. And as always, family, don't forget to be kind, inspire, be inspired, and I will see you next video. Bye.